Hello everybody, this is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. This is a coloring book review for Landmarks of the World, Color Your Way from Barcelona to Beijing, 35 World Famous Buildings for Coloring, Inspiration, and Ideas. This is illustrated by Abby Daker, down here at the bottom. This is a really cool book if you like structures. This is one of my favorite structure books that I own. So here is the front cover. Here is the back. This is the thickness of the book. Pretty decent. And here's the spine. The back of the book says, Color your way around the world with this creative coloring book focusing on 35 iconic buildings landmarks of the world looks to some of the planet's most astounding architectural structures as a source of inspiration and contemplation. And that sounded very interesting to me. So I said, what the heck? Let me get it. So as you open inside the front cover is a flip out. And these pages are not plastic covered, like um, The Secret Garden, uh, Joanna Bashford's books. Um, her flip out covers have a kind of a coating on it um, that doesn't really make it possible to color with a lot of different mediums. This one does not have a coating on it like that. This is just plain paper. You can use any mediums you want, and it's very thick, so it would work for just about any medium. The spine is glue bound. Inside you have the table of contents with some nice little sketches here along the sides. The table of contents has the the building itself, the location of the building, and the year that it was built. Introduction page. A little nice note from the illustrator. And inside you have, this is how the format of the book is. You have the illustration on the right, and on the left you have the building's name, the date that it was built, and the location, and a little brief history about it. And at first glance, I thought this was a great layout, except if you cut the page out, you're going to have a different building on the back of it. <laughs> so um, it would have made more sense to put the information of each drawing on the back of the page, just in case you cut the picture out, frame it, do whatever you're going to do with it. If you tore it out of the book for any reason you're going to lose what building it is because the one listed on the back is not that building. So maybe a little bit um, of forethought if you go to, to cut the image out, just be sure you keep track of, of what the building is. The pages in this book are fantastic. It's not watercolor, but it's a very high quality cardstock type of paper. It's very slick, very smooth. Um, I have a feeling that any medium will lay down very well in this book just because of the paper quality. I wish more books were made of paper like this. Drawings, the illustrations are fantastic. A lot of great line work in here. I love that it gives the year that it was built. Um, for example, on this one, it talks about the year it was built, when it was renovated, upon whose request it was renovated, and um, the most recent kind of redos of the buildings. Um, I just think it's a great book. Nicely done, very well thought out. The only complaint I would have would be that this information needs to be on the back of the drawing that it is referring to. So this is another copy of 
the image that you saw in the front cover, a smaller drawing. Kind of crack the spine a little bit. I take it back. This is not glue bound. This is um, bound. It's sewn. Sewn bound. It feels like there's glue in there too. Um, but there's a lot of stitching that I saw in there. And so it might just be... The filling of glue might just be a lot of stitching. Because um, there's more than what I would normally see in a book. So it's a very nicely made book. I believe this is the image that is in the back cover flap. Fantastic detail. Just amazing. Little tiny lines, little areas you can color, just different places to fill in. Where some coloring books would have done this image and they would have just had bricks here. You know, it, instead of just the bricks, they took that time to make the lines, to make it look more realistic. So anybody who's into structure, architecture, buildings, anything like that would absolutely love this book. And here in the back, um, like a lot of books that are very nicely made, it has an index of each of the pictures, just a smaller thumbnail of them, and it says the location and the name of the building in each little block and the page that it's located on. There is no test page in this book. However, books that include pages like this, um, I use these as my test pages so you can see what the medium does with the ink in the book. And in the back, there is one more fold out. And there's the back. So thank you for watching. Um, this has been an interesting day full of coloring book reviews for me. I've been uploading a lot today. And again, this is Landmarks of the World, Color Your Way from Barcelona to Beijing by Abby Daker. Thank you for watching and happy coloring.